All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's uh, Wiz again, and welcome back for another FOT AI battle. So on top, we have uh, Scotty's team, AOE Party, and then on bottom, we have uh, my team, Mysterious Girlfriend X. So why don't you just answer both teams for each of us? So first, uh, Scotty, we have Elemental the Summoner, Hansa the Ninja, Sayori the Samurai, and Pretty Gigaflare the Dark Behemoth. Uh, now for my team, we have Urban the Ninja, Tsubaki the Oracle, Hayakawa the Thief, and Imai Momoka the Knight. Um, so do note that both uh, Imai Momoka here, my Knight, and my Thief both have uh, uh, steel armor and steel helm, or the head, uh, the armor piece breaks. Um, this Knight also has uh, speed break and weapon break, um, just to have a little bit of utility. Uh, the idea behind her is to put somebody to sleep with uh, the Sleep Sword proc from the first shot, and then the Excalibur does some additional uh, bonus damage. Um, now, it will be useful in this matchup because she, the Knight here actually does have good compat with the Samurai, which means she has a better chance of breaking like the Circlet and the Maximilian, which is a permanent HP loss, and that is how you kind of counter like defensive teams like this Samurai with Defense Up as an example. Um, having said that, for those who don't know, Behemoths with uh, their Giga Flare, if she stands right, if the Behemoth stands right next to the Summoner, um, that's why the name Pretty Giga Flare, it does 287 damage and neutral compatibility. Um, so enough to one shot these two units, no problem. Um, definitely, obviously, one shot him. She can only survive if she gets MP switch, move MP up, traditional gunner. Um, if the gunner, you know, gets out. He could just start terrorizing everything. Um, and the way the tornado works, the summoner will be moving first over the samurai. So if she's in range or she's not in range to attack, she'll probably go for an Asuna. And then it's possible that the samurai might go for like a Kiyomori or something, but we'll find out. We're going to go to map number 108. Uh, it's going to be Voyage. Mm -hmm. So with there being a bit of ground to cover, it'll allow my uh, knight, Imai Momoka, She'll be able to uh, maybe get one or two applications of slow dance off, and that might be enough to just uh, sway the uh, tide of things into my favor as time goes on. Um, we'll definitely have to find out. Um, yeah, and then this uh, this is a status oracle, but instead of her being evasion oriented, she's just uh, fast and a high HP bot. So you know, taking advantage of uh, move HP up and uh, regen uh, from the P bag, so she can get multiple turns off and just give passive healing that way. We'll have to be in a status spot at the same time. Alright, well, two people lost speed. The less relevant units, in my opinion. Um, the ninja, yeah, I mean, maybe, but his CT just passed. Let's see. Yep, there's the Giga Flares I was talking about. MP switch does not trigger, but re -raise does bring her back to life. And she's able to just simply hit and run. Again, with the MP switch move MP up combo. With uh, ninjas having a cap of 50, there's only it's a coin flip as to whether basically she lives or dies. You gonna see any berserks? No, we do not at 23%. I believe they have worse than that. And everybody lost at least a point of speed there. That is massive. Um, oh, that is that is a disaster. That's kind of like the survival unit. We'll see what happens here. 192, Shiva, yep. Real, yeah, and, uh, MP switch did not trigger again. Um, those reaction abilities right there did, but uh, uh, no dead proc. Auto potion heals all that back up. Um, now, unfortunately, given the circumstances, the revivers are dead, so it is a permanent 2v4. So, really, the only way in which I could see myself coming back from this is if uh, somehow I'm able to just. Ah, uh, damn, that's, that's a shame. Yeah, the only way I could see this happening is if she just goes for Charm, and Charm just terrorizes the rest of the team, but that did not uh, come into fruition. And, uh, yeah, that Summoner was just able to simply hang back and just literally tear, you know, destroy. Um, we might see a Charm for the Behemoth. Let's see. Yes, we do. Not too bad. Any mid-charges for a kill? Very close. To, unfortunately, a Blade Grass trigger. MP switch, or not MP switch, uh, it does heal for 150, but I think she's still dead here. She's extremely close. Two auto potions, thank God, saved her life. Uh, any Mimic Darabons or Berserks? Uh, Berserk is not the smartest idea there, just because it would boost his damage further. 
And a nice use of the break and a lucky John, uh, lucky dodge right there. So yeah, this is basically over. We're just kind of waiting for any mimic there about it. And it did not share on a single unit, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I think honestly that uh, the ninja taking out Tsubaki instantaneously, the male oracle, I think sealed it. I glitched it. Yeah. That was definitely something right there. Unfortunately, that's probably the biggest threat for that Oracle is just being able to literally one shot from a distance like that. And let's take a look real quickly. Scorpio and Pisces. Good compat. Yep. Even if there wasn't good compat, this Oracle will still get one shotted. So yeah, it really depends on whether that Oracle, I think. I think the Oracle is the in my opinion, I feel like he's the anchor to the team. Uh, being able to do status, being able to uh heal people, uh use raise twos for you know full HP heals. It's um pretty imperative in my opinion but uh yeah let's see what happens here this time i don't know uh playgrass doesn't come into fruition i wonder if this behemoth is i think he's i don't well, hold on one sec he does get a charm now i wonder if he can go for a monster skill on his own team it does not look like it. it's a little bit unfortunate that occurred uh mp switches let's see what's going to happen here i'm curious a holy i bet she's charging up a bahamu to try to kill him off yeah, the slow is not going to matter too much. It doesn't impact the charging time of the spell, the holy. Yeah, because of the positioning of the map, the units are immediately going on the offense. And uh, as such, that uh, ninja is not going to be able to get a turn up. Let's see. 96. Yeah, still 72 plus. Yep, holy. I'm guessing the summoner is going for a Bahamu just to kill off the... Uh, the ninja, and that was the only spell that allowed you to do so. But, um, yeah, so again, even if you're like a defensive damage split, you know, kind of tank, um, gear breaks are just, uh, so they can be just so crippling. It's ridiculous. Uh, charm doesn't connect, but I don't think it really matters here. Um, yeah, Subaki goes down, but the damage has been done. And there's the application of a sleep into a simple uh, swipe like that. Not bad. 300 plus damage. Pretty good. So, all right, well, let's go to our tiebreaker then. According to this on my list, we have number 98. All right, let's go to there. 98, where are you, my boy? Outside gate in Lasalia. Uh, I think this is an unused map. I think there's like one team is underneath the drawbridge, if I recall. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I think, uh, Whoever prevails here is going to be determined as to whether this ninja is able to go uh, gun down people or not. If a uh, ninja is able to get his turns in and just harass the shit out of everybody, I think I'll be at the disadvantage. If not, I think I might have a chance here. Yeah, because uh, all right, wisely. See, so once again, he's going for that uh, going for that Bahamut. She's probably going to be able to get mid charged at least by my faster units. Um, I don't know why she's going for throws. Doesn't kill her, sadly. Um, Let's see. A bag smack will kill her? Yay or nay? That's huge. That is life or death right there. That is uh because if, if she if that would have connected, the Bahamut would not be going would not be going off. Giggle player too. Yeah, no auto potion. Oh, that clinches it. Yep. Yep. You know, almost 600 collective damage, pretty strong. Um, yeah, now she's prioritizing the healing as opposed to attacking that uh, Oracle, but the Oracle probably would get picked up immediately. We'll see what happens here. Kiyomori is going to be kind of irrelevant on the summoner just because she's got such a low HP pool. And um, I will note that the ninja has not been revived yet. So it is a basically a 3v3 at the moment. 312 HP, fairy, okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what she's doing. That's kind of worthless. At least two points of speed lost on that samurai. Not bad. Um, just gives her something to do. Are we going to see like, any charms onto the behemoth? That's the question. We do, yes. Now, I don't remember if uh, Giga Flare will work this way. No, it doesn't look like it. And the blade grass from the frontal evasion under that summoner, I don't think it matters. Chances are that's a holy, and I'm guessing the holy is going to go off. 
before that uh, summoner gets her turn. Yep. So with that being said, it's only up to uh, it's up to this one samurai to revive, and she's lost at least three points of speed, so she's going to get far less turns off, and she's just easily going to get picked apart. Now, the charm was broken, but I think the damage has been done. Uh, they're just kind of crippled. <laughs> it's fucking bag smacks, man. Um, not exactly sure what the spell is. Maybe that's a sleep or a paralyze? It's hard to say. Uh, any MP switches? No, but regular dodge, not too bad. I think that's at least... Let's double check real quick. I think that's at least four points of speed loss. Paralyze. Okay. And the behemoth walked into it. Let me see. Three, uh, a three speed unit. It doesn't matter how many... It doesn't matter how tanky you are, but the less turns you get, the less momentum. Protect shell wore off, so... Yeah, she's basically dead at this point. Um... We gonna, I was going to say, can we get our girl down to one speed? It does not look like that's going to be the case. But I should be prevailing this quite soon. 192. And that is something that is interesting, by the way. Um, for those who don't know. So, let's see real quick. We can pass. Neutral combat. Okay, so what I find kind of fascinating is that the melee attack from the Whale Whisker, it's still considered... It, it uses MA in its formula, but it's still considered like a physical attack. So the defense up actually came into play and reduced the damage from... 288 to 192. I found that to be kind of like a fascinating thing because you would think with a weapon that's like MA times weapon power, you would think that um, it would you like the damage would be mitigated by a magical uh, magic defend up, but it's not. It's based on whether the attack is actually physical or magical. So 108. Uh, it does yeah. Again, we're just kind of waiting for her to get uh, picked off very soon. She's just too slow to do anything, and because of the donac. Wait, is she going to get poked to death? Yep, not bad. So, well, looks like I prevail here. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Scotty, your team was not able to revive that uh, ninja. They prioritized the actions over uh, other uh, over other things. Um, yeah, I do believe that had that ninja been revived, I think you might have been able to win that because, yeah, that ninja being able to one-shot two of my people, <laughs> super strong, so... All right, with that said, I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow, uh, whatever match that may be. Uh, take care. Until then.